I, when I saw Gleason, uh, Gleason was what I wanted to be. I, I, I just thought Jackie Gleason was just amazing, you know, and I, I said, I want to be like that guy, you know, because he was incredible. And it was, people didn't realize he was a stand-up, you know. Not I great. didn't know Gle oh. Gleason did stand-up. Oh, yeah. Really? One night, two-ton Tony Galenta was giving him shit. And the boxer. And Gleason heckled him. And Tony knocked him out. Oh, yeah. Jesus. oh yeah. Oh yeah. He was he was incredible. You know, because I met Aunt Connie. You know, Jackie Gleason was obsessed with UFOs. Did you know that? Nah, but I I kind of dig it too, man. There's I, a I, story. Uh, uh, this this <coughs> guy told it to me. Some guy was a, 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 a rock band dude. He told me the story, and I don't know if it's true. But the story was that Gleason was friends with Nixon. And no, Nixon I, said, "You want to see some shit?" And yeah. Nixon took him to uh, Area Fifty One. Was I don't think it was Area Fifty One. I think it was Hangar Eighteen, which is a Wright oh, Patterson Air one. Force Base, and I think it was outside of Columbus, Ohio. And they they supposedly had some fucking crashed UFO there. And Gleason built a replica of it, or had a replica of it built in his fucking backyard in New York. <laughs> Wow. They went to the Homestead Air Force Base outside of Miami, it says. Oh, oh okay. Wow. Well, there yeah, you go. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I got a, a bullshit version of it. Wait, pull, <laughs> up, pull up the uh, the actual version. Where are you getting this from? I just Googled it. I mean, uh, it's a rumored story, so I don't know how it is. Yeah, that's how I got well, it. I got it from a guy in a band. Well, it might, might be bullshit, but he gave me some book on UFOs. And he was telling me about this, and but the Jackie Gleason apparently was obsessed with UFOs. Well. I, I believe this there's got to be something out there. Yeah. I don't we're, we're, we're it. I mean that's it. No, right? I don't, I don't so believe we're it. Every I I did a lot of uh, USO shows and I've been around the world and and I was every time I've done I was in off the coast of Turkey someplace and the commander of the base took me out for dinner afterwards and I got him drunk. I got him pretty drunk. I was sober at the time. I got him pretty drunk and I said, "Hey man," he goes, "Let me ask you about uh, Area 51." He goes. Got stone sober because this conversation never happened, and he, <laughs> and he left. And I had to take a cab to find my way back to a nuke base that that no one knows about. Jesus. Right. So then we're uh, I'm in I'm at the Dunes. This is how long ago that was, and I'm with these guys who are in the Air Force. And I got, they said, "Man, we really like the show. We're fans of it." I got him drunk. And I said, "Hey, man, what about uh, Area 51?" And they said, "Mr. Clark, good night." And they walked away. So now. Me and Mike are golfing with these Blue Angels. And he goes, you're going to ask him? I go, no. The second year, we golf with them again. I go, all right, fellas. Tell me about Area 51. They go, <laughs> well. <laughs> he goes, I was flying a plane, and I had malfunction, and I had to land there. And they came out, and they pretty much blindfolded me, took me into a building, and they fixed my jet within 35 minutes. And then put me back in place. I said, you were never here. And I went, oh, my God. So I don't know what's out there. Yeah, but that was – here's the thing. That was an area where they were testing all sorts of military equipment. They were testing different new – like, that's where the B-2 or the, the stealth bomber. Right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they, yeah. were, they were testing that there. And the, and the, and the spy plane. Yeah, they were uh, testing the, a lot of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of top-secret stuff there. Right. It didn't necessarily have, have to be to aliens. I, I understand that. And, and, and I'm, I'm hoping that there is. But he's but still I'm, trying to find but out. I, but – I'd love to go there, man. Oh, man. But you can't even drive. If you drive up there, Joe, by the time you get your camera out, they're, they're on you. Yeah. They tell you, well, you, get out of here. We'll lock you up. You know, it's it's not good. So they I, don't even go there anymore. They've moved to a new area. They've, they've actually, because it's so heavily scrutinized and yeah. because of Google Earth and all sorts of different ways you can see things, they've actually moved to another area. Well, I read, I read everything I can find about that, too. And I think... I, I think I read the book Area 51. Mm -hmm. It was a couple, two years ago. And basically at the end of the book, it was like Hitler had these, you know, his guys experimenting with the Jews and cut, put their arms on different ways and had a had an aircraft that was looked like a spaceship mm -hmm. and it crashed. And these people came out with the crazy arms. And, well, they're aliens. And that, that was in the book, you know, so that kind mm. of shut the shit out of that. I know they, that Hitler did, did experiment with some sort of disc Type air vehicle, yeah, yeah they did. Yeah. But I don't know if they ever got it off the ground or yeah. 
or what the deal was. But um, the most interesting story is the story of Robert Lazar, Bob Lazar, who was a guy who worked at Area 51, and he got fired because his wife was cheating on him. And they were uh, recording all of his phone calls and taping all of his conversations, and they found out that his wife was cheating on him. They thought that he was going to be emotionally unstable. And so they didn't tell him why. They just released him. And so then he brings friends to watch these – what he said was were alien crafts that they were experimenting with and they were flying these things around that had some it super advanced propulsion system that they were asking him to help back engineer and he brought friends to do that and then they got arrested for doing that and when he did that then he started talking about it so he's been discredited by a bunch of people but i don't know who's telling the truth he says that you know they uh they wiped his uh, college record so that no one, but people said they went to school with him. And he definitely did work for the government, but under what capacity, who knows? But his story is fascinating. And, you know, I want it to be true. Oh, yeah. You hear it, you want mm. it to be true. Joe, they used to fly the team of people that worked at Area 51 from Burbank. Yeah. Every day, fly them in, they'd work, and then fly them back. It, it's like, they didn't stay over. They well, would, there was that one airport outside of Vegas. It was right outside, like the where the Riviera was. Yeah, you could actually right. look out and see the airport. And they would fly them, the people from there, but in these unmarked like, jets. Yeah, I want it to be true. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, you want it to be true.